How's it going everybody out there in the cyber world? It's Garrett Cranston. I uh, got something new and exciting for you people. Um, a lot of people have been asking uh, for some nice USB hubs, um, especially you know the more and more new laptops that are coming out with one or two or sometimes if you're lucky at three USBs. Uh, really necessary to have a good USB hub. Um, so we've got the Crane stand USB hub. It's USB 2.0. It's incredibly stable. We've uh, we've tested it with uh, every controller um, that is used with Serato. Um, so it's uh, it's really stable. Uh, so you're not going to have a you know have the thing crash on you when you're out doing a gig or something. Um, it's pretty sweet. We designed it to where you can actually just clip it right onto the tray. Um, clip it in lots of different spots wherever wherever it suits you best. Um, it attaches to the sub tray as well, so it's, it's pretty neat. It gives you a lot of uh, a lot of flexibility, uh, and then it, it really is going to um, kind of revolutionize the the look and feel of your setup uh, because now, whereas when you used to have all these wires all over the place uh, getting in your way, um, the USB hub coupled with the wire keep LEDs allow you to put all of your wires along here. Um, it's it's going to make a really nice, clean setup. Uh, the, the USB hubs also work on the new product we have coming out, the Crane Standard. Um, so it works just the same way, just clips right on. Um, it's pretty sturdy, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so that's it. They're a uh, really good price, uh, hitting the market at uh, $24.99 um, MSRP. Uh, so find your dealer and pick one up. What's going on everybody out there in cyber world? It's Garrett from Crane. I'm here again with Zach uh, Rain. Zach, thanks for meeting with us today. You bet. Appreciate it. Um, now I'm here to talk today about the USB 2.0 hub. Uh, the USB hubs clip right onto the Crane tray, so it's uh, it's definitely a really nice uh, nice thing to have. Keep your uh, keep your setup all nice and tight and um, uh, looking good. Uh, and actually, Zach, you've had a chance to kind of mess with these a little bit, haven't you? Yeah, I've used it in my studio and out live gigs and everything. It's a great little hub. Made it my, the only thing is it's not a powered hub, so you can't power everything with it, but you can power, you know, I've, I've, it has, powers three MIDI controllers for me, no problem. Um, we got it working with two CDJ 8 or 8, a 900 or 2000s along with a MIDI controller. So for somebody who uses, you know, Scratch Live, which is what we predominantly deal with, it's a great hub. Nice, nice. And so now you, you were mentioning earlier that there's some hubs, you, you actually get calls a lot of times for people that are using hubs. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel confident that this hub would work better than some of the other hubs that are being used? Definitely, definitely. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And you think with USB 2.0 you're not going to have any lag or anything like no, that? No, no, it'll be fine. I mean, they, like I said, the only restriction is that it's not powered externally. Mm -hmm. So some of the more power demanding, uh, you know, hard drives or mini controllers might have an issue if you start packing them into it, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, it should work great for at least, you know, Scratch Live applications and yeah. production studio stuff. So, yeah. Cool, cool. Would you trust it out, playing out? Definitely, I've been using it. Nice, yeah. nice.